polygonal masonry of freeform blocks is a technique of building wall, which has no identical blocks. Also, it's impossible to find blocks of symmetrical shape in it. This is exactly displayed in their name – freeform blocks. But even among them, you can find some interesting exceptions. We are talking about the part of wall made according to freedom form way, which obviously reflect the layout of the other part. You can see such examples in Ollantai Tambo, on the surviving wall of destroyed temple of 10 niches. Also they can be found in Saxa Hyaman, on the second line of zigzag walls. Reflect is not idiom in this case, it has a direct meaning. The axis of symmetry is easily determined between these parts, and the blocks lying on either side of it reproduce the shape of the opposite blocks in a mirror image. Each time there are slight deviations of the form reproduction, but the details following rules are still more. The size of the blocks, the number of faces on them, and another configuration features. So there's no doubt. Mere reflection was the goal or by effect of something. In the case the axis of symmetry passes through the block, its halves are also mirrored. It's especially evident where wedge-shaped protrusions are present. Such areas are also found in frequently in clutches, created according to the honeycomb type. Although it seems they should be there due to the principle of creating honeycombs. Instead we see compact groups, in which blocks are selected according to another rules, far from the principle of mirror symmetry. Maybe this means the mirrored areas were not made there due to the conditions for them, but because they were needed. There are not so many similar areas nowadays, but it's possible there were more of them before. However, it's impossible to make a conclusion about the initial number, since most of the masonry lost their original view due to destruction during modifications and restorations. It's also not clear why the mirrored areas are located exactly there. We cannot detect any special markers to explain this, but at the same time we cannot say for sure that they were not at all, perhaps they just have not survived. There is something strange in the very existence of such areas. They stand out against the general background, due to according to the correct proportions of the composition. And this regularity comes into conflict with the free rhythm of the messenger surrounds it. This makes you think about principle of messenger formation in such locations. Because implementation of this principle requires a deviation from the rules that builders follow it during making blocks. The configuration of freeform blocks did not have a prepared layout, therefore it appeared not at one moment, but sequentially during the laying of the blocks. First, part of the responding surface, which is determined by receiving bedside of other blocks, then the part of the configuration that's created as the new receiving side. But in order to form a twin block, it's needed for another logistics. It is necessary to implement the parameters of each such block in advance. Therefore, work with any configuration and any size is not suitable in this case. This method of making twin blocks causes changes in the entire technological process, from work with selection and its preparation for laying to the final step when it takes its intended place in the wall. In other words, the method of masonry elements formation and the masonry structure are drastically different in ordinary and mirrored areas. Such areas raises questions, also because symmetry in polygonal structures is not a common thing. Freeform blocks and their joints must be asymmetric by definition. And in full accordance with the conception of asymmetric, such blocks give the impression of freedom, extreme identity even an accident. Asymmetry in polygonal masonry is shown at a higher level as well, in the outlines of the complexes, in the arrangement of objects in them, in the building's form. Also there are no dominance of symmetry in the layout and configurations of terraces, they are related to configuration of the slopes. 
At the same time, we cannot speak about freedom without rules, considering the construction of polygonal complexes, about absolute free pile of elements in it, about free behavior of proportions and configurations of these elements as well. In most cases, the reason for asymmetry in organization of complexes can be explained by the fact that the structures are situated in extreme conditions, associated with the location. The configurations are forced to fit for the forms of rocky foundations on which they are built. But does it mean that both masonry and individual blocks were given free form for the same reason? Does it mean that whole appearance of asymmetry is caused only by this? And does it mean that form of construction which could be get by integrating to the rock base was completely suitable for the builders? Indeed, in many cases, especially regarding to the configurations of the buildings, they did something quite symmetrical. Many structures have the correct proportions, which means they work with symmetry. And it was used if necessary. So, is that true that embedding was a priority? That symmetry or asymmetry variants were selected according to it? Overwhelming predominance of asymmetry in polygonal complexes and the harmony of asymmetry is a pretty strong difference from the principles on which the harmony of our constructions is built. Bilateral symmetry is the basic law of human organization. And by doing something, we project this onto our living environment, we project those things to which we are subject ourselves, we organize our environment according to the principle by which we are created. As a result, we impose convenient for us organization methods on it, suppressing its unique features. But polygonal complexes don't suppress its environment, they are built into it. They use and complement it, even often give the impression of some appendages to the rock base. So the matter is even deeper than approach to the environment. The point is motivation to interact with the environment. In addition, we cannot say that such masonry wall was built this way due to weakness of its creators. Actually, the opposite is true. There are enough examples when embedding into a natural lacuna could be realized only thanks to enormous efforts and also to a certain level of knowledge, very far from the level that might be required for everyday life in primitive or semi-primitive conditions. Perhaps that is the reason they seem some alien. They have a little of that we put in the environment we form for ourselves. There are not enough that we expect from architectural objects. As a result, such environment is uncomfortable for humans. And therefore, the next step in logical chain will be the following statement. Polygonal complexes, it's an alien environment. It's not for us. But what about areas with mirror symmetry in polygonal masonry? We can continue theory building of their possible purpose and creation reason. For example, they could provide some important things, functional and technological, or maybe something related to the features of their using. So there are more than enough options. As well, we can assume that it was a joke of the builders, maybe costly, it may be extraordinary, but a joke. In any case, all these theories are based on our understanding of the needs and possibilities of the ancient builders. Within our view of the tasks which construction of polygonal structures solved. So, it's unlikely that we'll be able to solve this question only from the point of view of our possibilities and needs.